The Tim Tebow Foundation's Night to Shine is headed back to Fellowship Community Church, and that'll be this Friday. Tim News reporter Abby Coleman is working for you to see how the event helps people of all abilities celebrate their differences. A night for people of all abilities to be recognized and appreciated. They can walk the red carpet while they're cheered and celebrated for who they are. Friday, Night to Shine is back in Salem for its biggest year yet. Planning team member Patrice Smelzer says they have over 450 guests so far, all with different disabilities or special needs. It tells me that we have a lot of people in our community who um, feel isolated and who feel kind of cast aside. And Smelzer says they have a wide range of ages. We have people that are in their teenage years, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. We've had 80 year olds come that have never been able to come to a prom or a party or any of those kinds of things. Caretakers and parents are also invited for dinner of their own. Parents and caregivers a lot of times are very isolated because, you know, there's just so much, their life is very different than ours. There's so many extra things that have to be done. So it's nice for them to know that they're wanted to. At the end of the night, everyone is crowned a king or queen. Something Smelzer tells me sticks with them for a long time, especially for one boy who attended a few years ago. Then he got really sick mm -hmm. right after Night to Shine, mm -hmm. and um, he actually ended up passing away, but he had his crown on when he did, and he told oh. everybody in the hospital about he was a king. At the end of the day, they want everyone there to know they are loved. The whole point of the evening is for our guests to know how much God loves them and to know how much we love them. And they're still looking for volunteers up until the day of the dance. In Salem, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.